Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so this video shows you a great way of putting your Thunderbird into dark mode. Now, I'm doing this video as a suggestion by one of my viewers who said he uses, he or she, sorry, should I say, uses uh, Montreal Dark for Thunderbird and uh, it seems to work pretty good. So I'm going to give it a try and let's just show you how it is. So there's actually um, quite a few versions of this Montreal Dark 2 for Thunderbirds. Now you've got to make sure that you're using the right version. Now if you're using the latest version of Thunderbird, which many people should be because Thunderbird does update itself automatically. Um, but if you did want to check what version of Thunderbird you're running, then just click on the uh, three horizontal lines in the top right hand corner of the screen just there, okay? And once you've clicked on those, go down to help, okay? Click on help and then click on about Thunderbird just there. You'll get this box appear in the middle of the screen and here you go, it will tell you what version you're running. Now the latest version at the time of recording this video in May 2022 is 91.9.0. So it doesn't matter whether it's a 64-bit version or a 32-bit version. So I'm just going to close this down. So what we need to do is we need to go into add-ons. So let's just click on the uh, horizontal lines again in the top right hand corner. OK, go down to add ons and themes just there. Click once on that and up in the box here that says search add ons dot Thunderbird dot net. Click in there. OK, and just type in there Montreal. That's M-O-N-T-E-R-A-I-L just as it's shown in the box there. If you need to, you can pause this video whilst you copy that down. But once you've typed it in there, Click on the little magnifying glass just up there on the top right. And then hopefully you should get some results come up in a few seconds time. Might take a little while. It really just depends on the speed of your computer and the speed of your internet connection. So just be patient with it. As you can see, mine's taking a little while. OK, so I just had to pause that because it's taken a little while. It's just that I'm downloading loads of messages at the moment, so it's a bit slow. But there we go. So we've got here Montreal Dark 2 for TB, and then it's got a, a forward arrow 68. That means it's for versions 68 or above. So I'm going to try this one here first of all. So I'm going to click on Add to Thunderbird. OK and uh, it's saying it's downloading and verifying the add-on. This bit again might take a bit of time. There you go, it's come up, add Montreal Dark. This extension will have permissions to have full unrestricted access to Thunderbird and your computer. Now, if you're a bit worried about things like this, you can click on learn more just there and that will give you more information about what it's got access to and whether or not you want to carry on installing. If you don't, then you can click on cancel just there. But if you're quite happy to carry on, click on add just there like so. And uh, the theme will be added. There you go. Montreal Dark was added. So just move your mouse over. OK, click on that. And as you will now see, if I just close down this box here that I just opened up, this permission request message, and this one just here, and this one just here. As you can see, it's partially gone dark. So the left-hand menu there has gone dark. The top bar there has gone dark, but the main screen here is still white. And if I open up a message, that stays white too, which is okay for some, but not for others. Now, obviously I'd imagine the other option there, the Montreal full dark will turn everything black so uh, I'm just going to give that a try so let's just close so let's just close down this box here okay click on the hamburger menu there and go down to add-ons and themes left click once so I'm just going to go to extensions just here okay and then let's just switch off this theme so just by clicking that there you go as you can see blue has been restored to the top there and if I click on the three dots just to the right there, I can remove that theme. So uh, let's just click remove. 
and then it says remove Montreal Dark as well as its configuration and data from Thunderbird. So click remove. So that's if you want to remove it. So I'm going to try the other theme, the full dark theme. So again, I'm going to click into search add-ons.thunderbird.net and I'm going to type in there Montreal and click on the magnifying glass just to the right. And again, this bit might take a bit of time. It really depends on the speed of your internet connection and the speed of your computer. And I'm going to look for, there you go, Montreal Full Dark 2 for TB Forward Arrow 68. So I'm just going to click on the Add to Thunderbird just to the right of that. And again, there you go, it says Add Montreal Full Dark. This extension will have permission to have full unrestricted access to Thunderbird and your computer. If you want to, you can click Learn More to find out more about the... Uh, the permissions. Click on add just there once you're happy with that. If you're not, click cancel. So I'm going to click add and there you go. It says Montreal Dark was full dark was added. So I'll click on OK and let's just close this uh, window down here and this window down here. And as we can see here, the email list has gone dark as well. Let's just go into an email. So again, the email is still light there, but the rest of it is dark. Now this does seem to be an issue in here, but if you did want to uh, to change the background of a message, then what you can do is click on again, the three horizontal lines in the top right hand corner, go to preferences, just there, click that, and then we go down here and we go down to languages and appearance and then click on colors there, okay? And we can change the text color and the background color here. So let's just do that. Let's change the background there to black. So click on the, the white there and then click okay and change the text to white just there, okay? Or we can select a gray if we want to. So let's just do a gray for instance, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure there's not a tick just to the left of use system color. So like mine, it's got a tick in there. So I'm just gonna untick that, okay? Click on okay. And then let's just close this down here, this preferences box. And there we go. As you can see, the email is now got a black background to it. And let's just open it up fully. Yeah, so there we go. It's a, a black and white email there. Now again, if you wanted to uninstall the theme, okay, so I click on the horizontal lines up there, go to add-ons and themes, click that, and then go to the three dots just there, click that, click remove, click remove again, and there you go, it's been removed. But what I need to do is just come out of this. I need to basically take this back you can keep it if you want, but uh, the message will still be black and gray. So click on the three horizontal lines up there. Click on preferences. Okay, click, uh, scroll down to colors, click on colors. And you can either tick use system colors and that will bring it back. Or you can go to text there, click on text, make that black, click on okay. Click on background and then click white just there, and then click OK, and then click OK again, and then click on the cross just up there, and that brings you back to uh, the normal theme. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.